First of all, where did the weird name come from? A lot of people ask that because it's Hanover Shoe Farms. It comes from the Hanover Shoe Company, which was a manufacturing company in the town of Hanover. The owners of the shoe company, which were my great-grandfather and his business partner, C.N. Myers, developed a racing stable. And they had horses that raced around Pennsylvania. When my grandfather got out of law school, he took a look at the racing stable and he said, you know, you guys are losing money all the time. The horses are not bringing in enough. Why don't we call the stable the Hanover Shoe Stable? The company will pay an advertising fee to the stable. That's justified by the fact that the Hanover Shoe Stable is going all over Pennsylvania and displaying the name. So that's how the Hanover Shoe Stable got started. In 1926, a very prominent standard bred breeder by the name of A.B. Cox died in Philadelphia. The owners did a deal with his estate to buy all of his breeding stock. Fifty-some horses came here to Hanover from the Paoli area and we started the breeding part of the farm and so it became the Hanover Shoe Farms. The 3,000 acres that we occupy, almost all of which is in Adams County, is made up of what were formerly individual family farms. Most of them were bought in the late 19th century, early 20th century. And we still refer to the farms by the names of the families that lived there. So we have a Mangus farm, we have a Coppersmith farm, we have a Delone farm, a Stoner farm, and on and on. So the, the people that lived there and really made the farms live on, at least in name, you know, and uh, we remain conscious that they were here before we were. Here at the farm we have 345 active brood mares, nine stallions. We're going to sell 247 yearlings this fall. So the horse population, if you take the stallions, the mares, the yearlings, the babies that are with their mothers, uh, you get up to about 1,200 right about now in the middle of the summer. We try to keep the horses in as natural and a horse-like environment as possible. They need to be outside as much of the day as possible. They're outdoor creatures. They move around by nature. That's, that's part of their instinct. Horses get to know you as an individual. A horse remembers you specifically. When you train horses, you use ways of gaining their trust. And so once you've worked with a horse, you've earned its trust, you don't let him down. You know, you're, you're true to that. These are living things that we care about. We really love them. We always have about 100 retired horses. And these are mostly brood mares. They're not producing anymore. Luckily, we have enough land that they can just live out their lives being horses. And out in our field of 100 retired mares, we have some that have produced winners of five or six million dollars and others that have produced winners of three hundred dollars. But they're, they're ours, so we look after them. We've had a lot of success over our almost 100 year career. We've won more of the classic races than any other farm. In 2017, horses that were bred here at our farm in Adams County won 31 and a half million dollars in purse money, which is more than any other American breeder thoroughbred or standard bred. So we are first in the nation in 2017 on that measure. And all of those horses came from Adams County. So the land has a, a special meaning for the horses in terms of being well suited to, to support them. When you look at the soil itself, oddly enough it's the same type of soil geology they have in Lexington, Kentucky, where the other famous horse farms are. So it was kind of a natural thing, I think, to raise horses on this land. The land has a special meaning to, to those of us who live here, you know, because we live on it, we watch it. And the land has been actually part of the equation that has kept us going for 92 years so far. Because the land is good for the horses, and the horses turn out well, the farm succeeds. So there is a connection uh, or a bond between us and the land, the horses and the land. Just as the shoe farms is part of the Adams County story, um, you know, I'm part of the Adams County human story, and uh, it's good to be a part of. My name's Russell Williams. I'm the chairman of Hanover Shoe Farms Incorporated, and this is Authentic Adams County.